Welcome to Digital Graphics, where all the cool kids come to hang out with their favorite instructor. Hey everybody, welcome to Digital Graphics. Let me get one other thing out of the way, outside of my cool music. Every time I start a lecture and I say hi everybody, this is all I can think. Hi everybody! So, welcome. Let's make sure that you all are in the right place. So, in case you're taking a look at the screen and you're wondering, hey, what's going on? Don't worry, the class might look a little bit different, but I'm teaching two sections of digital graphics this semester and I'm sharing content between the two classes. So what is digital graphics? Well, aside from it being your new favorite class, we will be going over Photoshop this semester. We'll be talking a lot about it in the weeks ahead. So before you know it, you'll be able to take uh, a house like this. This is a house that was for sale on the internet and boom, do some Photoshopping and lure your clients uh, with the potential that the home might have. So that's what we'll be looking at this semester. Um, we'll also be spending some time creating a portfolio for all of the work that you do in this class. So this portfolio that I'm about to fly through, it's a great overview of some of the projects that we work on to get us where we want to go in this class. So this is our class in a nutshell when it comes to digital graphics. Um, we will be using InDesign to do the portfolios and both Photoshop and InDesign are part of the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite that you get for free now. Yay, we love free! And that's coming up in one of your assignments this week as well. So lots of things to look forward to. Now, um, one of the main concepts that we're going to be learning this semester is taking a whole bunch of objects that don't necessarily belong together and trying to figure out a way to put them together. So we will be doing something called masking. So if this dr table drum looks familiar to you, that was in the image I just showed you, um, we'll be going over a concept called masking for at least two or three weeks to make sure that you know how to take an object, isolate it, stick it into a different scene, because if the student had just taken that image and put it in here, it would still have that white border around it. That's going to be probably the most important concept that we're going to be going over this semester. Again, that's called masking. So hopefully you're in the right place. If you are, please keep watching. This is going to go over um, an overview of our class as well as some of the stuff that we'll be doing this semester and a couple how-tos. So to start off, every week when you guys come to take a look at what to do and what we'll be working on this week, I would come to your modules, which are laid out right here. You can also get here by clicking on the modules tab. I'm going to dance around for a minute. And again, our homepage looks like this. I like designing pretty little buttons, so I would suggest clicking on the button. Now if you do click on the button, what's going to happen is it's going to take you to that module and you can go through each one of the things that are due. So that overview will be coming up in just a moment, but for now I just want to go through some of the other class um, overview items, including the syllabus. So first day we almost always go through the syllabus. I have everything loaded here for you, so I'll let you guys Take some time, look through the syllabus. I will have some questions posted on the syllabus and this overview, so make sure that you go through our syllabus as well as our class schedule, and make sure that you watch this video until the end. You know, we're already four minutes in, so please give me some time. But what you can do here is take a look at the different modules. It talks about um, the date, the program that we're using, so PS is Photoshop. Um, and then I try to guess how many hours it's gonna take you to do your homework. So I try to list all of the homework here, as well as an estimate of how long I think it'll take you. Now again, some people might do this a lot faster, some people might take some more time. This is just kind of my average guess, um, and I hope that helps. Now this schedule is pretty accurate. Sometimes, depending on the week, we might take an assignment away, we might add one, but this is a pretty good guesstimate of where we're going this semester. So again, please take some time to take a look at that. Um, 
if you ever need help, what I'd like you guys to do is to come to Canvas and there is this help button right here. So let's start with what this help is. This is great for helpful forms. You can even ask me a question here. So what this does is it goes through and you can find your teacher and you can send me a message. It's basically the same thing as going to your inbox and sending me a message. Um, going through help though, if you are ever having trouble with um, Canvas, you can call them here, you can report a problem. There's lots of really good resources here for you in the help portal. Now outside of that, when you need help, um, one thing to remember is that this class is an online class. I don't have my lectures scheduled to be WebEx meetings or Zoom meetings, but what I do is I pre-record lectures for you that you will watch and do your assignments. And after you've watched the video, you know, one or two times and given it a good try, you can always reach me again through um, your inbox or the help desk by sending me a message. And I also have weekly WebEx conferences. So for this class, for now, I have set our appointments to be on Thursday mornings from 9 to 11 and Thursday evenings from 7 to 9. So I'm trying to be flexible by offering it in the morning and in the evening. But if Thursdays don't work for you, just drop me a note and I'm really flexible. I can grab you a different day of the week. Um, that's just what I have blocked out for this semester. And again, as we get to know each other in the coming weeks, I am more than happy to adjust that for you. All right, now I am going to hop back into the modules that I started off talking about. I think going through a module will be really helpful because it will show you a typical week and how it's set up, when things are due, how they're due, and that's essentially what our first week is all about. So if you look at module one overview, what I do every week is I give you a list of concepts. So this week we're going to go over how to navigate this Canvas course. That's what we're doing right now. You'll learn how to take a screenshot. You will download the Adobe Creative Cloud and Photoshop. And you'll learn how to submit an assignment and take a quiz. So this is what I have right now. When you watch this video, there's going to be one more quiz that pops up that you might not see in this list right here. And that will be all of the questions that are directly derived from this lecture right now, the course overview. So if I just click next, it's going to go to the first thing that's due and that will be our class discussion. As you can see, I still need to load that. There will be 10 points possible and you will get points by um, posting your own comment to my question as well as commenting on somebody else's in the class. If we hit next again, it goes to your first assignment, which is assignment upload practice. So this first assignment is just to make sure we're getting off on the right foot. I want to make sure that you're comfortable uh, uploading assignments to Canvas and I've done a series of videos to help you with that. So the first thing that I've done is I've shown you how to take a screenshot on a Mac and a PC. Use the one that works best for you. And the reason why I want you guys to know how to take a screenshot is that if you ever need help from me, it's a lot easier to send me a screenshot of your screen than try and explain what's going wrong. Sometimes with a screenshot, it takes me about three seconds to figure out what's going on. Where if you try to write it out in a paragraph format, it takes me 10 minutes to figure out what you're trying to say. So screenshots are invaluable uh, in this class. I also teach you how to search for an image online. There is a correct and incorrect way of doing it. So again, I just want to make sure that we're going on the right foot. And then lastly, there's another video on how to submit an assignment on Canvas. Again, I'm not sure if this is your first Canvas class, if it's your fifth Canvas class. I'm not going to assume that you already know how to do all of this, so I would like to go over each one of these steps with you. While we're on this page, this is really important. So up here we have the assignment description as well as tutorial videos. This is the bulk of what you'll need to get your assignment done. But this is one of the most important things. So down here, I have the due date. So it is due on May 25th, and that should actually say 
12 p.m., which is actually 12 a.m., so I'm going to adjust that. But always look at the due dates and also look at, you know, until. What does that mean? So that means that it's due May 25th, but you have until June 1st to turn it in late. So in my class, I will take your work up to a week late with a small late penalty, but then after that week of it being late, I won't accept your work. And the reason why I like to keep all assignments open for an extra week is that life seems to always get in the way at one point or another. So this saves both you and I having to find each other on Canvas, explain what happened, you don't have to do that. Just know that you'll always have an extra week. And as long as you don't take advantage of it, you know, just use it two or three times throughout the semester, you'll be totally fine. But if every week for the first, you know, month, two months, you're taking advantage of it, I'll reach out to you and just send you a friendly reminder that it really is for emergency purposes only. Um, so all of your assignments and exercises are open for an extra week, but discussions, those close um, after the one week. So those won't be open. We've kind of moved on at that point. So just know that discussions will close after the one week, but assignments and exercises, you do have an extra week to turn those in. Um, moving down from there, the module, the mo uh, sorry, the rubric. The rubric is so important. Why is it important? Because it tells you exactly what I'm looking for and how much it's worth. Don't be that person who doesn't read the module and, you know, for example, right here, an image of a building slash space you love. I would love to see pictures of your cats and your dogs and your family, but if that's all you send me, you're going to miss out on the two points. So it's really important to read this rubric. Also, let's say you uploaded an image of the building and space you love, but you forgot to include the description. There's another two points that you missed out on. And then last but not least, go ahead and attach a screenshot but not just any screenshot. Again, it's in the rubric. So please attach a screenshot of the rubric for this assignment. It's all very meta. So I'm asking you to essentially take a screenshot, whoops, of this area right here. I want to make sure that you know what you're aiming for with the screenshot and that you're comfortable uploading it. So that's one of our first assignments. And I hope it gives you a good overview of what a typical assignment looks like in this class. Again, instructions and instructional video here. And then down here, it tells you when it's due, how long it's open until. So the due date is how long it's open to get full credit. After that, you have until this date with a late penalty. And then again, the, one of the most important parts is the rubric. It tells you exactly what I'm looking for. Um, to get full credit. So moving on, you also have a practice quiz. Again, I don't know if you guys have ever taken a quiz before in any of your classes. So I have a practice quiz for you. I just want you guys to try it out. So with this quiz, it's really simple and straightforward. It's just to help you become familiar with how quizzes on Canvas work. Um, please take note of the time limit the number of attempts, and read each question carefully. So for this quiz, I am allowing two attempts, but I typically only offer one attempt. And again, if you take a look at the um, details, you can see that there is a time limit of 180 minutes, and that should be plenty. We've got the same due dates here as well. Okay, I'm gonna keep clicking through. Again, if at any point you have questions or I went too fast, the best thing about these YouTube videos, you can slow them down, you can speed them up, and you can also pause. All right, this is our first big assignment. This is the Adobe Creative Suite download. So I have linked a tutorial for you to watch. It's pretty straightforward. Depending on your internet speed, it might take time. But please remember that this license can only be accessed if you have your um, SLCC email. So whatever SLCC email that you have that ends in bruinmail.slcc.edu, that's the one that you'll have to use to get on the network. Now this does not work with an existing Adobe account, so if you already have one, you can go ahead and keep using it, but you won't be able to take advantage of the free license from the school. So once you have the Creative Suite 
downloaded, you only need to download Photoshop and InDesign for this semester. So here's what I mean by that. If you take a look at the Creative Cloud, let me scoot this over a little bit, this is what it'll look like on your screen. Now it might be a little bit different. I'm running a Mac. Some of you guys might be on a PC. So these are all of the programs that are included in Creative Cloud. You can take advantage of any of them because once you have them for free, why not? But for this semester, please know we only need Photoshop and InDesign. So again, within the Creative Cloud suite, you don't need all of these. You only need Photoshop and InDesign. That's what we're looking for. Um, I want you to get Photoshop installed as soon as possible. And again, if you have any trouble, please let me know and take a look at what's due. Okay, you downloaded it, but to get credit for it, you need to take a picture of Adobe Creative Cloud installed. So that's this right here. Show me this. And then I also want a screenshot of Photoshop open and running on your computer. Let's make sure that you installed it correctly. And that'll look something like this, or it could be a blank open screen. You don't even have to have anything open. So if I go to new, this is what Photoshop essentially looks like when you get it open and running. Okay. Woo. All right. We've covered a lot in just over 15 minutes, but I think this is a good overview of the class. Again, the modules have most uh, everything that you need in the class. If you ever need help, again, we do that through our um, WebEx conferences that you can schedule with me on Thursdays. But again, I am flexible, so if Thursday mornings or Thursday evenings are just not a great time for you, um, we can change that to another day that works best for you. And then again, this help menu should be able to get you to any other help that you might need with Canvas um, if you, you know, don't want to use your inbox to find me, you can use this as well. So again, welcome. I hope you guys have a great semester. And if you have any questions about what we just went over, you know where to find me. Make it a great day, everyone.